This is Watson Paths, a research project we are working on with Cleveland Clinic to develop a new cognitive computing tool for learning and teaching. It will be designed to help physicians and medical students learn how to make more informed and accurate decisions faster. The tool will enable quick navigation of the latest medical information and will show how physicians and medical students can learn critical reasoning skills from the initial clinical observations all the way to possible diagnoses and treatment options. First, I'll begin by selecting a hypothetical case that a student might be presented with. What you see here are a number of hypothetical medical cases that are similar to those used in the U.S. Medical Licensing Exam. I'm going to choose one. This case shows Watson Path's reasoning process across a deep breadth of findings, symptoms, and possible hypotheses. You can already see how different this tool, Watson Paths, is from the system that competed on Jeopardy. These are not short, specific questions. They're lengthy scenarios that will help a physician or student learn critical reasoning skills. By pressing the Solution button, I see and can interact with a visualization of Watson Paths' reasoning process. In the background, Watson searches through millions of pieces of information, medical texts, journal articles, and more. More importantly, Watson Paths asks and answers hundreds of questions about the scenario, combining the answers into complex results that we can study and evaluate. You can see the results in this solution graph. The vertical bars represent the hypotheses that Watson Paths finds most viable. The height and color of the bars indicate the level of evidence that supported the options. This is a big step on the way to presenting to the physician or student possible diagnoses. If you're a doctor, you want to learn these critical reasoning steps. So when Watson Paths shows its work, you learn what evidence supported the options presented. What you are seeing here are all of the relationships that Watson Paths found between this protein and other factors that it deemed significant to this case. And here you can see one of Watson Paths' most likely diagnoses for this case. In this instance, Watson Paths has high confidence, meaning it found lots of supporting evidence, that microalbuminuria can be a likely diagnosis. But, as I said, this is a tool for learning and teaching. Let's say the student in this instance wants to find out more about the relationship between hypotheses, represented by the curved horizontal line. The student selects the path between the two, and Watson Paths provides a result. The student can then press the Show Evidence button to review all of the evidence Watson Paths has collected in reaching this result. After reviewing the evidence, the student decides whether he or she disagrees with Watson Paths assessment, and can press either the Agree or Disagree button. Watson Paths adds the student's opinion to the mountain of evidence it has already collected and analyzed, and automatically reevaluates the scenario, potentially arriving at new conclusions. Here's another example. In this case, Watson Paths has to determine a possible diagnosis, then answer the question about the part of the body that is affected. Let's see how that works. Watson Paths extracts important clinical factors from the case and identifies Parkinson's as a potential diagnosis. If I click on this link, we can see how well supported Watson Paths result is. Watson Paths also searches its vast knowledge sources to determine which part of the nervous system is affected by Parkinson's. The strongest evidence points to substantia nigra, 